Today we'd like to talk about the power of art to influence. Influence our choices, influence our decisions, even influence our actions. Now before we show you some examples of art that we believe has the power to influence, I'd like to give you some background on the idea itself. The idea comes from the fact that most art communicates emotionally. In other words, it's the goal of most artists to create work that has their audience feel something emotionally. And this ties in beautifully with the decision-making process because our decisions are dominated by our emotions. In other words, our emotions are the reason why we choose, decide and act. So you can see how art itself could potentially tap into our emotions and influence us one way or another. Now allow us to take you on a visual journey, one in which we hope will strengthen the conversation around the conservation of the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef, isn't she magnificent? The largest living structure on the earth. One of the great wonders of the natural world. An icon of the purest blue. And here we use beauty as a form of influence. As artists have done for centuries before us. A universal language to raise awareness, create connection, evoke a sense of wonder and awe, feelings of purity, perhaps even vulnerability, in order to inspire a level of ownership and a desire to protect. As the Great Barrier Reef is under great threat from rising sea temperatures, and resultant coral bleaching. And perhaps her beauty alone, sadly, is not enough to inspire us to act. In the next two examples, we want to demonstrate how the power of art to influence through juxtaposition. Now you'll notice the natural beauty of the Great Barrier Reef has now been joined by a hauntingly beautiful image of open-cut coal mining. Now imagine for a second, you're on your way to an exhibition, a body of work featuring the Great Barrier Reef. And when you arrive, walk through the doors, you see the natural beauty of the Great Barrier Reef, it's displayed directly alongside the hauntingly beautiful images of open cut coal mining. How would that make you feel? How would you react? Now, I know myself, that would raise a level of interest. I'd be very interested in why the artist decided to display these two very different subjects side by side. That would be followed by a level of curiosity. I'd begin to ask myself questions in search for those mysterious answers. I might look for more information in an artist statement or exhibition statement on the wall. Now, allow me to ask you all a question. Raise your hands if you agree with this next statement. How many of you would like me to add some clarity and join the dots between the relationship of these two images? Raise your hands. Okay. While your hands are in the air, have a look around. Like most of the audience, was very curious. And that's interesting because within this example, the power of art to influence through juxtaposition, the reaction we were looking for was curiosity. And that curiosity is important because it opens up the channels of communication and allows us as artists to share the deeper intent. Now you'll also more than likely be more open to receiving that information because it's going to answer those questions and quench your curiosity. So allow me to add some clarity and join the dots between these two images. What we have here is open cut coal mining which represents the extraction and consumption of fossil fuels, which directly contributes to climate change. Now, that climate change directly contributes to, among other things, the rising ocean temperatures, 
which is the main cause of coral bleaching, which is currently wiping out large sections of the Great Barrier Reef like never before. So in essence, what we have here is one of the causes and one of the effects of climate change. So here we use juxtaposition again. This time to explore the power of choice and our capacity as artists to influence this. I get a bit emotional when I see this. Place images side by side invites comparison. And as artists, we're not going to be shy. We're trying to influence the ultimate choice of that. And we're doing that here in this example by imbuing emotive qualities in these images so polarizing and so far apart from one another that it's almost impossible to resolve them together with any sense of harmony, ultimately deeply influencing that choice. On the one hand, nature. On the other, industry. Conservation. Exploitation. Protection. Destruction. Hope. Despair. Or perhaps even as powerful and simple as life or death. In the next two examples, we'd like to demonstrate the power of art to influence through metaphor and symbolism. Now, you'll notice a new image up on the screen here. And for this particular image, I'd like to take a second or two to allow this image to speak to us, to share its visual story. So let's take a moment. Now, once again, raise your hands if you've got a similar message from this image. From this image, I get a sense of heartbreak, broken heart or loss. Raise your hands if you got that from this image. Excellent. It's really interesting because what, what that means is we've been able to communicate a very complex emotion using a simple image and symbolism and metaphor. Now, that heartbreak or loss could relate to something as literal as the loss we associate with losing something as precious and as beautiful as the Great Barrier Reef. However, as the artist behind this piece, allow me to take you on a more personal journey. You see, this image is a message to myself. It's a reminder that my choices, my decisions, my actions, even inactions, have a direct effect on the future of my young boy. Now, if there was one hope for this particular image, I would hope that maybe we could all use it as a reminder to take deeper consideration of how our choices, decisions, actions, even inactions, have an effect on the future generations, in particular those we hold dearest, our children and grandchildren. So here again, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on how this image speaks to you. For me, I see two quite distinct levels of symbolism that resonate through this image, and they invite and give me an opportunity to explore perhaps some of the wider issues in this conversation. Firstly, I see a crucifix which creates connotations and stories around sacrifice, forgiveness, salvation, perhaps even resurrection and hope. And secondly, I see a set of scales which speaks to me about balance, equilibrium, choice, the weighing up of all the sides of the equation, all the factors involved, can we find a sustainable balance between our desire and our need for energy resources and the well-being of our world's great natural ecosystems? 
And so today we've presented you a range of techniques and methods designed to evoke a level of emotional response strong enough to reach past your head to your heart, the ultimate source of your decision making. And in so doing, we've hoped to inspire a level of ownership, a desire to protect, to take positive, responsible actions towards the conservation of the Great Barrier Reef. And so we leave you with one final image, an invitation for you to reflect and ask the questions that need to be asked, that need to be asked now. As we are the custodians and the stewards of this earth, and our actions or inactions, both collectively and individually, have the power to shape our future and will create the legacy we leave behind for the generations to come. And lastly, I'll allow you to reflect on the poetic words of John Ruskin. No individual raindrop ever considers itself responsible for the flood. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.